Hey, on this episode of How to Do Stuff, we would be learning how to make icons for iOS 7 winter world. As we all know, we are all into making themes and stuff, but since iOS 7 came in, um, there is a bit difference in making themes. So, um, since we all have tried making themes before on iOS 6, it's pretty simple the same way around, but the design has changed. The concept of making icons has changed so right now I will open up a base icon okay so this is the basic structure of any icon I'll put this PD, PDF, PDS file for job file on the description below so we can check it out but um, since we are making iOS 7 theme or an icon for a theme we won't need the shape because iOS 7 Winterbird or iOS 7 OS automatically removes out the shape it's like a mask on the icons so what you're gonna do is now uh, we want the grains to be there grains are looking like okay just see okay uh, if I remove the grains you will notice that it's much simpler and less grainier so we want the grains that creates a good effect on it and then we would do is make a new one new document and make it make sure that it is 1024 into 1024 that's the exact amount of pixels we want on this file then you drag this one out of here then we take the grains the guides and the 16 to 16 guides and then drag them right into this document okay now what you're going to do is we are going to drag the um you're going to take them all actually okay no, we'll just leave the gradient and base and then we will free transform and make sure it fills up the whole space. Okay, you shouldn't leave any spots like this over here. And you press enter. Okay. Now we have the 16 into 16 guys and everything. So we drag that to the center. Okay. You can find the center out by going to um you see these things, these guidelines which I get, the pink ones, they're because I have this thing enabled over here. View, show, smart guides. So you can snap them to the center, exact center. And now we can disable 16 is to 16 guide. And this is the basic structure of an icon on iOS 7. Okay, this is the actual thing. So now we are going to make a weather icon. So a weather icon, you need this thing. You need to have the um let me just find that folder for video yeah you need to have the cloud the cloud you can get it off the internet by just googling a cloud and then hold shift and then fix off a correct dimension okay we're just gonna make it approximately this much any icon you make for ios 7 should have those plain gradients not intense gradients like intense gradients in the center i'll just show you what i mean when i mean intense gradients i mean these these are good for ios um what do you say ios 6 these were really good on ios 6 but on ios 7 the concept is different you don't go for all intense gradients you go for plain simple gradients okay that's how ios 7 works and if you're trying to make something that requires gradients or somewhat hard or intense gradients you are good to go for it but reduce it the amount okay because that iOS 7 style it won't be there and since the original Apple icon doesn't have the cloud to like have those curve thing at the bottom what I mean is this thing over here we need it to be flat so we will just roughly um, I don't know free transform the section I guess no that's not gonna work okay if we delete it it's gonna look too weird so we are going to remove the smart object by erasing just click on the erase tool and click on the object and then if you erase it off it will look somewhat like this but we want it to be smooth so we grab the pen tool we go over here and then click over here and then roughly we figure it out let's see that no that's too much we just curve it out okay just click over here here should look natural there you go that looks okay 
so we are going to delete that much off by making a selection and then yeah that's fine so delete that much off now what you're going to do is we are going to do the same thing on this side okay so we are going to do the selection let's press delete to remove the dots and then get a rough view I don't know why is it going black and okay get a rough view around this is going too far I don't know why just zoom out a bit maybe okay let me do that point and shut over again okay I guess that's gonna be similar yeah that's gonna be okay so now we complete that and then we again do the make selection thing and then we delay that part off okay now we have a much more uh, subtle I believe icon so you know do something this thing's not pretty straight so we just again crop off that much I didn't select the layer again okay so we are somewhat done with the cloud okay and now we're gonna drop some gradient over it so we do gradient overlay we put the white color okay the white and then we add a bit of gray bit of light white maybe this could be a bit more or less darker because you know you are not supposed to use intense gradients intense gradients okay the variation must be very very small now we need to add the cloud um the sun okay the sun's not rectangular okay we'll go for a uh, whole shift and then use the ellipse tool to get a rough sun okay okay now we fill in a yellow color we would add some gradient to it just for a rough namesake of simplicity okay we'll just make a new layer the sun okay and then we put that over there and we need the sun to be below the cloud okay and then we are gonna add some gradient to the sun pretty obvious and probably would require the sun to be let's see okay uh, we have where is the gradient overlay okay we use a light tone of yellow let's see a yellow and a, a brighter yellow uh, yeah that goes good oh, that's my bad my bad okay maybe a bit more variation I don't know what is going on okay that's fine yeah that's fine okay since the sun's done well the original one the, the, that is the original apple logo has a cloud outline of a blue color over here so this could be that's it if you want if you could end it up over here but for simplicity and the namesake of making it look more cool we would reduce the clouds opacity not that much a bit so that you can see the sun because clouds aren't opaque you know that right so you get that feel and then you hide this um, original grid that is these guidelines and then you hide them and that's it that's your weather icon it's pretty simple then you save this file so if you wanted to get a rough idea of what is going on right now you could do is um, maybe control plus J this layer okay since it's it could make it darker but it, that's your wish okay so I will just control plus J again and then free transform there and then make it fit exactly at this spot okay and then press enter and then I would convert that to a smart object okay then um, what I would do is I would make this create a clipping mask okay just hold on just put in a sh solid color in there okay since we are done with that we put it down below the base and then merge don't merge down sorry create clipping mask so you'll get a rough idea of how the icon would look like on your 
um, winter board so this is how it would look like on a spring board with the curved edges but one thing which I will tell you is that don't do this don't do this while you're saving your icon because that practically uh, ruins your icon because you might be a bit less than the original curve or when you're doing this so when you put it on your winter board you might have dead pixels dead pixels are like when you do a selection you see that it's blank over there and there's a dark shade over there so that's going to be bad for your icons so let iOS 7 do the masking for you also you don't need to do those clipping things so release the clipping mask and just save it as save as and then you're done you can just do it on the desktop or temporarily and then arrange them according to your files on your theme so that's how we create an icon for when um, iOS 7 and uh, just try to maintain those light gradient changes don't go for intense gradient changes because they make them look like iOS 6 just go for light and um, subtle colors no intense dark colors and um, play around with transparency and opacity and then you could also try around uh, avoiding sa shadows shadows are not good for iOS 7 they are more simple and just gradient based icons okay so if I hope you understood what I um, said if you have any doubts regarding how to design or if you want me to design something I would um, probably look into it it depends on how or what your idea or concept is if it intrigues me I would surely help you out no problem just leave them down in the comments below and uh, hit a like for this video hope it helps you out and uh, do show me your final product and tweet me at at PC Oxide on uh, Twitter obviously okay uh, till then goodbye